That kind of sounded like George in the Jungle. Isn't he fat now? What's up, guys? I think, I believe this is the finale, Granny Fuckers, unless I draw it out one more episode. But in my mind currently, before we start, it is the finale. But maybe. Let's get this bitch a boiling, shall we? Did you know I have a vlog? Oh, well, I do. Right here. You see it? Right there. Also in the description. Appreciate ya. So skimming through, I saw that Kyle was at a graveyard. Looking for a new date? To be honest, him being in a graveyard is actually hilarious. Yeah, come on, babe. You want to see all the girls I dated? Kyle, this is a graveyard. In Hollywood, Octavio is desperate to get back with his aging ex, Joan. That's a sick boy! He puts you to shame. You ain't shit. I am headed to Joan's house to pick her up, and we're gonna go for a nice little stroll in Beverly Hills. It's a beautiful day out. That's great, buddy. Which one's Joan again? Is that the one you said you love? Is this another fucking old chick? I'm very confused. I'm just glad they all have the stereotypical old person names. Despite dating other women, Octavio knows Joan is special. Oh, okay. That, I'm glad you answered that. Thank you, narrator. Come on, mama. What I like about Joan is actually how hip and young spirited she is. And rich! And I love her to death. She just means the world to me. What are you delivering? Hi, honey. Hi. You look beautiful. You know, for some reason, I feel like you opening that is gonna just make you get robbed more. Like, having that, I just feel like, just puts you in a worse position. I have no idea why. Like, yeah, the whole door opens and then they can enter through that way. But if you open this shit up, I'm breaking in. I had no plan on breaking in your house. It's just insulting. Hello, peasant. She's extremely beautiful and elegant. Every time I see her, I take one look at her. It makes me feel like I'm home. That's really cute. I feel like most men would fuck this. Like, if you're drunk, you'd be like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this one down. Part of me feels like she's, she's the one for me. There are just things that we need to work through and figure out. Jones figuring out if she wants him back. He is such a good looking guy and he, he walks in the room and everybody turns, you know, they look at him and think, oh. That it might also be because he walked in with a corpse. I'm glad that I started seeing him because it, uh, it gave a new meaning to my life. And he's very loving. Yeah, he means a lot to me. He's a very, very special person. Joan knows about Octavio's date with Elsa and demands an explanation. Oh, I cannot wait. Yeah, sorry, Joan. I, I actually I tripped into some vagina. Complete accident. You know how old women love to mop. It was slippery. Why are my eyes closed? She uh, was an extraordinary woman. Very intelligent. A lot of fun to talk to. But you weren't attracted to her. Not like I am to you. Oh, to you, huh? This, at any moment, could break into a song and dance. Discovery Communications has now been acquired by Disney. This is pretty much just Beauty and the Beast, except it's flip-flopped. Which means that you were sort of attracted to sort her? Sort of. What? <laughs> I'm what? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I don't like that you actually like her. Are you jealous? Well, if you just make me insecure for even five minutes, you better watch out. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is very weird. This is a very weird interaction. I feel like nobody on earth has ever communicated like this. Doesn't seem very natural. However, I haven't really seen a young person talk to an old person in a sexual manner. Ever. So I guess this, pro this probably hasn't happened before. Octavio launches a charm offensive. She was a lovely woman, but not nearly as beautiful as you are. Not nearly as fun to talk to as you are. <laughs> no, she was a lovely woman, but you know, I love you. What can I say? I'm fucking sold. I kind of want to fuck this guy. Sorry, Miles. You you popped your head right up. Look at that, look at that underbite. Do you think that, um, there's a future for us together. Yeah, you can come to my funeral. Yeah, why not? Well, life is certainly a lot more interesting with you in the picture. 
It's yeah. good to know you feel that way. Yes, I do. So do you want to go out tonight? Sure. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Like, okay, honestly, if you told her, you're like, hey, hey, I pounded that bitch into oblivion. What's she gonna say? I'll go get another young, ripe man? Fuck no. Mm, nah. mm, soft lips. We could have very much done without the mmm soft lips. Love you. I love you. <laughs> Ah, doesn't this just remind you of whenever your grandma would tuck you in at night when you would stay at her house? Or when your gym teacher would do the penis taste test? Kyle has a contact list full of grannies. I need to stop drinking before pressing play. Kyle has a contact list full of grannies. We knew this. It was just weird to hear. I felt like I was just doing an MGK rap right there. It's weird to hear. Your beard is weird. But occasionally, nature shortens it. He's on his way to the cemetery to visit the grave of a former lover. <laughs> Why? This is bad. I don't want to see this. Show me some grandma titties. You think he's going to dig her up? Huh? One last good fuck. One last pussy pounding. Bring that bitch back alive. I mean, I always knew that eventually someone that I was seeing was going to pass. Every person you've had sex with is already dead to me. Um, well, I never really thought about how to handle it or when that was going to happen or anything like that. Okay, here, this is how you handle it. Who gives a shit? Find another. They're all, they're all the same. Oh, let me get done with this crochet and then you can pound this angel pussy. I still almost don't believe it. I mean, even though I know she's gone or whatnot, I still almost don't believe it. Three of his lovers have died, but this is the first time Kyle's come to pay his respects. This is so fucking weird. That's all I could say. Oh, are you seeing your grandma? Oh, no, no, I, I used to fuck this. Like, like, literally last week, I had sex with this. And there she is. This also make you horny? I don't know, I guess it's not really real until... You're standing on it, wow. She's the first one that I would care enough about to come see, to come see for myself that it was real. Do you think he went to her funeral? I'm gonna go with that would be extremely inappropriate. So he probably did. And then now, here I am, and she's gone. Yeah, shut the fuck up, Kyle. Do you see that name behind you? Yak Zura? That's fucking tough. It kind of makes me think, you know, who's going to be next or, you know. I don't think he has any concept of reality currently because literally within a decade, they will probably all be dead. Death is fucking terrifying because that's the end. If I were to die tomorrow, I would think I had a lot of fun. I like to think the women that I was involved with, for the most part, they enjoyed it. They had a hell of a time, so did I. Oh, Kyle, you will live forever. Trust me, buddy. If you die, I'm going to shave this, my whatever hair I have left, back a little bit. You see, like, the little bit we got here? I'm going to shave it just back a little bit. Like, I am Kyle now. I fucking love sex. You have X amount of good years to do shit. And then it's all downhill from there. Despite dating geriatrics, Kyle isn't attracted to the idea of being one himself. I think that was pretty obvious. However, do you, when they said downhill, do you think they showed the cemetery going downhill on purpose, or is that an accident? Pretty sure uh, Discovery Communications runs this, which also runs TLC, and they're not that fucking smart. I know you're watching this. I know you're fucking watching this, whoever makes this. Fuck you. I'm not going to end up in a nursing home. I thought to myself, you know, the day that I can't have sex anymore, I'll put a bullet in my head. And he's already written his epitaph. I know what that means. I absolutely know what that means. I now know exactly what that means. My gravestone would say, I hope there's sex in hell. You are such an edgelord. I hate you. I fucking hate you so much. What are you going to buy me? Whatever you want. 
Octavio and Joan were back together. You guys are really gonna switch it up with some happy ass music after him talking about how he wants to die when his dick doesn't work? It's fuck with my emotions, man. This documentary is pretty much life. Oh, look at these diamonds. But they've since split up. Again. Why? Why? How could you ever break up with a little old granny? I bet it feels pretty bad now, huh, Kyle? You can't get that pussy you just saw because you, you waited for Joan. Kyle's decided to move back to Florida, leaving his lovers behind. Was he gonna do dig him up? When I go back and look at these, I feel better. Coupon for one good fuck next time I'm home. <laughs> and a $25 gift card? What a frugal cunt. <laughs> He's built up my self confidence that I figure, fiddle. I can find somebody else if I have to. No, if you have to, you're not. It's not gonna happen. You know what the person's gonna be missing? An entire body. He, I love that he actually writes them cards. Like, probably all of them. Like, it's genius, but also hilarious. Anna's taking it harder. I'll be a little sad. A lot sad. A lot sad. <laughs> you know why she's taking it harder? Because that was like the only time a man has actually genuinely liked her. Ever. You could tell that that bitch just hates life. That she was, she hates life so much that she stopped not swearing and said angel pussy and devil dick out loud in the cafe. You might come back. Oh no, there's no coming back. I'll just grow old and die. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh that off all you want. That's true and you know it. And Shirley's barely even noticed. Kyle is not the only young guy that I see. I date five or six guys, 30 or under. Wow, look, it's every girl I've ever met. Oh, I can see what she's looking at on the computer. Great, let's, why don't we just go through this really quick. Hey guys, welcome to Poppy News. Let's get right into the news. Fuck. I hate myself for that. We're gonna read off this dumb cunt's, uh, what is this? This guy's looking to fuck? Where does this exist? Where do I post? I don't know if I'll be pointing correctly, and I think it'll just add to it. Nice guy for a naughty girl? Why does it have to be a nice guy and a naughty girl? Why are you nice? Why are you the nice one? This is a weird role play. Looking for some fun tonight. Who, yeah, who isn't? Not a special snowflake. I'm not, I'm not trying to be bored. Come dumpster. Mine's full. Young hung BBC. Young Hung BBC. <laughs> Looking to hook up tonight. See, now that's more specific. That's doable. What's fun to you? I don't want to click. Okay, as you can see, it gets progressively worse. Looking for now. Patience. Curvy smartass or horny mature. So the, cur the curvy one does not have to be horny. Is to him smartass, is that just sarcastic? You guys are going to sit in a circle and talk. And the other has to be horny. I feel like those are two ends of the spectrum. I'm wearing basketball shorts, by the way. The budget's a little low. I think it might be NSA. Don't, don't they work for the government? Oh. So the government is just fucking. Just fucking fucking. I know, at least you know what you're getting into. Looking for fun. Well, luckily there's a guy higher up. Just click on this. You guys can link. You guys can solve each other's problems. Kill two birds with one stone. A butthole is a butthole. Okay, a hand's a hand. If it's moisturized. You guys just jerk each other off. The one below that actually hits close to home because I know somebody who was part of this. Accepting house cleaning. Hand job provider. So is that one person? Do you provide the hand job? Do I have to clean the house and provide? Why am I saying me? I'm giving the news. The old lady's gonna jerk you off. But I know somebody, okay? She did this. She went to go clean a house and she's like, yeah, I wanted to fuck me. I'm like, well, now I know why. Uh, apparently here's my Tinder profile. Very tall, in shape, good looking guy. With big cock, bored. To be honest, that would work on Tinder. Will you watch me masturbate? I didn't know it was that easy to get a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Louis CK. And new offers flood in every day. Very tall, in shape, good looking guy with big cock, bored. Chico, picture. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. For comedic purposes. He done got a big one. Take it away. By the way, getting age restricted. I was right. When I, whenever I say I'm getting age restricted, I'm completely correct. Multiple of these have, which means the video dies and you don't get any money for it. There's a vlog on there. If you want to go, want to go look. <laughs> 
Man, he's a horse. Whew. Honestly, that length looked so unhealthy. I don't, I don't have enough blood in my body to fill that fucker up. I would pass out before I reach an erection. Oh, mercy. Hi. Hi. Is that him? That was quick. Was he outside? My name's Johnny. Nice to meet you. Okay, you had, he had to have been outside. Cause you're wearing the same goddamn outfit, bitch. I don't know why that last part just absolutely disgusted me. Not the penis whatsoever, just that laugh. The laugh of knowing she's gonna get pounded by 15 more men one more time before she dies. Like at once. Oh, that was a good run. Man, my mom hated that shit. <laughs> That was the most vile shit we've done in a while. Can't wait for more. Uh, so guys, now we're needing another series to do in between 9 Day Fiancé, because I really don't like doing them every single day. I like doing 9 Day Fiancé Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Wait, today's Friday. But I added this was a finale, so it's different. So uh, you can comment down below or DM me some anywhere. Find the new awesome thing to make fun of. This was great. I had a great time doing this, honestly. Very much enjoyed it. It was very different. Very fucked up. We got through it, though. We did it, buddy. High five. You look great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tonight we're doing Fortnite Fan Fuck Friday. I think next week I'm going to try out the uh, a different time for stream because like I can feel myself being so tired. I usually do 8 p.m. to midnight central time. I can feel myself being very, very tired around 11 o'clock. So I'm also moving into an office space for YouTube and, and working and all of that stuff. So I will be trying to do 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. central time. But Friday for Fortnite Fan Fuck Friday will always be midnight or 8 p.m. to midnight central time. Hopefully like an office space can have me be more productive, get more things done, and maybe even start a side thing and maybe work more on the podcast and things like that. Start off, start a couple new fun things. I think that would be cool. That'd be fun. I love you. I love you. I feel like, why am I getting so sentimental? I feel like we're just ending it. So a new fucking video coming out tomorrow. Roll that fucking Twitch clip! Kyle. Mm -hmm. I fucking love sex. We'll have a wonderful time on the wine box poppy Twitch stream. Can somebody just make hit marker noises with their mouths? Everybody who's versing us is an idiot. Complete autism. Come on. What are you gonna do? Huh? You're almost dead. <laughs> she has no Reaper's gay. It's in the lore. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I had one fucking health. I did not think that was going to hit at all. Like, not one fucking... Come on. Oh, shit. Ooh!